Okay, welcome to another um, tutorial on iWeb 08. Now, um, one of the first things we're going to do is we want to open iWeb 08, but this can be a problem if you've got an existing site. And I'll show you how. Remember the, where the site is, that's generally in 06, it's, that's the path, it's your root directory, which is your uh, username library application support iWeb okay now with the new one you don't have to have it there I mean you didn't with the old one either but let's say you did uh, what we're going to do is is open iWeb and see what it does when you open iWeb up there it is saying it's opening that's iWeb 08 whatever I say iWeb now it's 08 now the first thing it does is says welcome to iWeb 08 uh, do you want to update or quit? Now, I suggest that unless you've got a copy of your domain, do not bloody update it, okay? Uh, so make sure you've got a copy. So I'm going to quit first. And what I'm actually going to do is I want to fold it into opening a new site completely. So I'm going to take my domain or domain sites, it depends on whether you've got the extension showing in the finder or not. Um, and uh, it'll be domain or domain sites and I'm going to go down and I'm going to uh, what am I going to do create an archive of it so there we are created an archive there's a domain site zip I'm going to leave that one in I'm going to drag the domain sites off to the desktop and just leave it there for the moment now I'm going to open up iWeb and it's going to come up as it has because it doesn't know where the domain is now I fooled it haha <laughs> And you'll see I need to because there's no option there uh, for save as to save it off somewhere else and then wipe all the pages out or do anything like that. Nor is there an option for a new new site. If you put new site, it just adds it onto the existing site that you've already got. I think that's a fault in it. it should have that. No, anyway, it doesn't. So okay, we're going to choose the first page and uh, we'll choose welcome. And we come up with our old welcome page site. Now, down the bottom here, you can choose your theme. You can change that theme over and over again. Uh, and more or less, you can try it um, in each one. So you can, uh, when you ask for another page, for instance, they've added quite a few themes here. So you've got one, 1 1.1 and two themes. Look at all the themes. And there's a lot of themes here. You know, there's a lot. I'll just scroll through them. Some quite interesting stuff. Uh, now, word of warning. If you've got some of the wonderful third-party stuff that's been written in themes and you're using them on 06, uh, to my knowledge, at this present time, and it's... Um, I don't know, what's the date? Uh, the time I made this, 17th of August 07. I don't think anybody's yet made new themes for the 08 that works for the 08 because it's a whole different architecture from 06. So be careful because if you use old themes, you won't be able to update your 06 site to 08 without uh, corrupting it badly. Uh, I didn't use themes, but it still managed to corrupt my site. Okay, so I had to rebuild it, which wasn't a bad thing anyway. And as you know, I've said that before, and I've got um, in the uh, in the other uh, in the other tutorials how you deal with that. Okay, well let's have a look and see what it does first of all. I want to start with us actually having a think about what clean management of a, a site looks like. Um, I have a tendency to put it in documents. What I like to do—that's my Australian law podcast. Um, which is messy at the moment, so I'm not going to show you that because that wouldn't be good. I'm going to create a new folder, call it my uh, my site dev, okay, um, and open it up. And uh, I said open it up. Thank you. Wasn't doing what it was told. I'm going to create a folder called graphics. Um, uh, and then I might have one that's called, depending on what I want, uh, you know, uh, podcasts, whoops, podcasts, uh, and whatever else you think if you're planning on doing a blog or, you know, graphics, uh, you might even make uh, a folder just called photos. Um, 
that you use that aren't necessarily kept in your in your um, iPhoto album. So that way now you've got a nice structure to put things into, and then um, you can put uh, another one maybe called um, uh, uh, domains and uh, uh, or domain copies, so or domain backup. How about that? Um, nice way of backing up your domain, by the way, is to use the backup program here, which you can get if you've got a .Mac account, and uh, I use that so that it backs up my domain copy constantly. So see domain files, um, and it'll go up to, um, it, it'll take it up and put it on my .Mac site. Now that we've all got a lot more room on our .Mac site, that's not a hard thing to do wipe the backups out from time to time, but that'll automatically back up your domain file uh, without you having to worry about it. Um, and that's a real boomer, I reckon, plus it backs it up to a, you know, a disk a long way away. A disk far away in a galaxy. Uh, okay, so we'll put that down. Now let's have a look and see what we can do here. What have we got? Well, we could add some bits to it but what we're going to do is have a look first at the changes that have been made overall so this is for the people who haven't um, who know a little bit about uh, iWeb but uh, and want to see what the changes are well that's the same um, so what we call this site we'll call this um, Dave's um, Dave's test site and it's pretty important that you have that um, separate and different from any other site you've got or it has a tendency to write over it. My email um, which is uh, davinoz at mac.com okay um, my, it shows you capacity there used which is pretty good um, now that's and uh, passwords if I want a password protect the site, that's what I would use, my username and password there. Well, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not that kind of private guy. Uh, now this is the page view, as we'll see, page inspector, right? Uh, and so far we've got, oh, somehow we've managed to have two uh, welcome pages. Oh, that's right, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one because it's not the one that I want. Um, welcome to my site. So we'll just call that welcome and uh, press return and that's reflected up there and it's also reflected in the in the menu item as well which is rather good um, 